Can you guys guess who the hypest Spacey is in Smash? Is it Fox? Is it Wolf? Nope, it's neither of these two. It's none other than Falco Lombardi. Falco is Smash's walking highlight reel. His down air combos are iconic and his mains have been making crowds go wild since he was introduced in Melee. Falco didn't shine the same way in Brawl and Smash 4, literally and figuratively, but the hype is back in Ultimate. Make no mistake, there's nothing quite like Melee Falco, not even Ultimate Falco. While Falco is the lowest ranked space animal in Ultimate, there are still lots of reasons to play him. Melee Falco could thrive in neutral due to raw speed and strong moves across the board, but Ultimate Falco is a lot trickier and every bit as rewarding. Unlike other characters, the new Falco doesn't have a lot of tools to poke and play safely. Neutral is tougher for him, but in exchange for that, he gets three big strengths. Combos, edge guarding, and a super unique style that comes from his movement. Today we're going to be teaching you how to get started with Falco by focusing on three big strengths. And hey, if this video doesn't have that advanced stuff you're looking for, then go check out ProGuides.com. We've got a ton of tools to get you along further, like live coaching sessions, more character guides, and combo tutorials. You can use it by clicking the description link below. Alright, so let's kick things off with combos. After all, combos and strings are the bread and butter of any character, but particularly crucial to Falco. Since Falco isn't a neutral god with tons of safe tools and pokes, he's got to get everything he can out of each opening. And Falco's pretty good at creating openings. In particular, Falco really excels at whiff punishing an opponent. His moves are fast, they have lingering hitboxes, and most can anti-air. Once Falco lands a hit, he'll often launch his opponents vertically. While they're in the air, Falco can usually follow up without any trouble. That's because Falco has the highest jump in the game on top of great fall speed, so it's easy for him to cover a lot of distance in the air in such little time. Let's take a look at Falco's bread and butter up tilt into up air combos. At low percentages, Falco really wants to hit in up tilt. He could run up to an opponent in up tilt, but that'd be a little easy for them to shield his up tilt. Now, if Falco baits out an aerial from his opponent and then up tilts to interrupt it or land it via whiff punish, then he could get it to work. If he hits that up tilt, he can chain it into another up tilt at low percents into relentless up airs as percent builds up. Falcos can easily get 40 to 60% off of an opening by landing one up tilt, followed by stringing together a variety of aerials. While up tilt is Falco's combo start of choice, it's far from the only one. He has tons of crazy options that come from his multi-hit moves. His forward air and neutral air can both create combos if you land before the final hit, canceling out the full knockback. These setups can be hard to execute but can lead to kills at higher percents. Falco's down air combos still exist as well. At high percents, one down air can lead into a full hop back air. His forward tilt creates good tech chase scenarios as well, and he can use his side special as a follow up to cover lots of tech options. So it might be a different game and a different Falco in some ways, but one thing has stayed the same. If you master Falco, you'll still get the commentators screaming, Wombo Combo. But combos alone aren't enough to win games. Luckily, Falco's not a one-trick pony or bird or whatever, I guess. Falco can also edge guard with the best of them as well. But he's pretty unusual because he doesn't have that great of a recovery. However, he can still edge guard without much risk. That's because of Falco's high jump, fast fall speed, and lingering hitboxes. Every single one of Falco's aerials have great edge guarding abilities. Even beyond those, his down tilt spikes can actually two frame opponents. That makes it great for reading predictable low recoveries from enemies. His forward air has a big long lasting hitbox, which makes it great for recovering side angles. His neutral air is a bit like his forward air, but covers a circle around him, making it better to cover the ledge. Then there's Falco's back air. This move hits like a spaceship and can take stocks way early. Falco can use back air for a bit of everything, but it's especially good at killing. Usually it works best on stage as a follow-up, but it can easily work for edge guarding because of its super fast startup. All of Falco's edge guarding options can be pretty safe for two reasons, speed and intimidation. Falco is so fast and jumps so high that it's pretty easy for him to jump back to ledge after using a move. Each of Falco's moves are so dangerous that any character without a big disjoint isn't going to want to mess with them. That means they'll often go unchallenged. Contesting one of Falco's aerials at the edge might cost your stock. It's usually better just to air dodge. While Falco's aerials are his main edge guarding tool, he can also use his specials and smashes. In particular, his laser and his down smash. 
His laser is a great, safe way to disrupt any lazy recoveries. If an opponent tries to recover at the edge of the ledge, it's easy to knock them out of the animation with a laser. Even if it doesn't kill, it's free damage. And his down smash, well, it can two-frame and catch re-grabs. It's pretty fast too, making it hard to punish. And if you're getting really wild with Falco, you can also use his side and down specials to edge guard as well. These options do often look the coolest, but require that you hard read your opponent. If you read them wrong, you might have just written Falco's obituary. Last but not least, we gotta cover Falco's unique style. And no, we're not talking about the 80s blazer or the weird Dragon Ball Z scanner. We're talking about his unique movement and attacks. In this game, Falco's actually pretty slow overall. That being said, he's got one of the fastest initial dashes in the game, giving him a great foxtrot. For the uninitiated, that means he's super fast, but in short bursts. He moves best when you can start the dash animation, cancel it before it turns into a run, and then start again. That makes Falco less of a rushdown character that hounds people down, and more like a bait and punish character. Falco's good at closing short and mid-range distances to punish a whiff or land a follow-up. He also has such a high jump that it changes how he has to approach. His high jump means that many of his aerials won't hit when full hopping, or at least making them not very safe. However, that jump means that he can press the advantage super well. He's one of the best jugglers in the game and can keep his opponents in the air forever. When he knocks someone into the air, they often have to air dodge to avoid a string. Once they air dodge, Falco can fast fall and then punish the air dodge. Falco specials add another layer on top of all this. His laser lets him have some range in his kit and his reflector helps him deal with zoners, while his side special helps with closing a middle distance. All of that makes Falco even more versatile at reacting to an opponent and putting them at a disadvantage. The last layer on top of all that are his multi-hits. Falco can catch a lot of people off guard because his moves don't end when you think they do. He has tons of multi-hits that keep people in shield stun and can get surprise hits when people drop shield too early. It also makes him a pretty hard character to parry because you have to parry like 10 times in a row. A lot of people just see Falco as another space animal. They think of him as a different version of Fox, just one that combos upward and more diagonally or horizontally. And that's not really the case. Falco is super unique and doesn't have the same aerials or amazing smash attacks that Fox and Wolf have. And he's not just built to rush down, he has kind of a reactive playstyle. But that's what makes him so unique in Ultimate. Who knows, maybe he'll fit your playstyle better than a Fox or a Wolf. He's still a walking highlight reel, so if you guys want to impress your friends, pick him up, give him a try. Let us know what you guys think of Falco down below. Are you guys going to pick him up? If you guys want to take your Falco skills to the next level, go find a coach on ProGuides.com where we can help you with that. You can also check out our other content and enjoy what we have for you right here on ProGuides by clicking the sub button. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck in your next few games.